probably should have pooped before I started this recording. Welcome back everybody to Pokemon Platinum Random Block. If you remember last time we made it to Eterna City, we got through Eterna Forest, I should, probably should switch those, and then that was pretty much it. Uh, we're going to start off today by going to Mount Coronet actually to get a Pokemon after we battle this dude. See how Mount Coronet towers above us? I want to be big like that one day. You probably won't, unless you're like Ant-Man or something. He has a bass shield on. Good thing we have two moves that are super effective against Bastiodon. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, that's what mama would say. My mom's probably never said that. Switch into Octosep. And Blissey's gonna give us all the experience. Give it to me, Blissey, give it to me. Give me the egg. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Level up. Oh. He's a schoolboy? Alright. All right, before we go into Mount Cornet, actually, actually, you know what? Let's catch a Pokemon because we might be able to like train them a bit at the trainer that's down there. So, oh, it's actually get that item right there. Our first encounter for Mount Cornet is a Licky Licky. Interesting. Um, I think Octostep could probably Seismic Toss it because Seismic Toss will only do 20, right? Yeah, that's a good way to actually weaken Pokemon. I'm glad we learned it, actually. I, I regretted learning Seismic Toss, but now it all makes sense to me. Oh, that is like as low as we're getting Licky Licky. Let's go ahead and throw the... What did we get an Ultra Ball? Let's throw a Pokeball. <clears throat> oh, alright. This... You... I'm trying to think of a name for it. Actually... I never really used Licky Licky. I don't think I've even used Lickitung before. I remember Jesse had a Lickitung in the anime, and I thought that was like the coolest Pokemon to have in the anime. Cause it was just Lickitung is one of those Pokemon that you just don't think about. Like, it's interesting. I'm excited we caught one though. To I guess this will be uh, Alyssa's replacement as a normal type on the team. The long tongue is always soggy, slobber. That's gross. <laughs> the saliva contains a solvent that causes numbness. Oh. Alright, well, let's give you a nickname. I decided on Uvula, because, you know, the thing on the back of your throat, the Uvula. Felt that was a good name. And we're going to grab this item, but actually, before we do that, I want to give Uvula. <laughs> such a funny word. Um, the experience share that we got last episode. Let's go ahead and give. <laughs> God. I mean, Uvula's not that far back in uh, level wise, but, you know. Lowest level, might as well give it to her. Her! How many females do we have? We have three females and two males. Interesting. That's not what I want to do. I want to look at Uvula, see what we have. Brave likes to thrash about, like spicy food. Own tempo prevents the Pokemon from being confused. Pretty high attack. Horrible speed. Um, defense is good on both departments. Lick, supersonic, defense, crawl, knockoff. Not the greatest moves. Let's see if we can teach you anything of these horrible things. Can you learn Arm Thrust? Because Machoke can't. <gasps> Bowie can learn it now, though. Interesting. Um, oh, Licky Licky can learn Thunder Punch. Just kidding. <laughs> Joke on, jokes on you guys. Probably not Thunder Fang. Didn't think so. Alright, well. We tried. Heal Block. Don't, we don't need that. Alright, let's see what this item is. A fist plate. Oh, that's actually a really good item for us. And the house had some. Oh, I feel like each plate has like text of it. All right, let's go ahead and give this to our resident fighting type. You don't need the razor thing, buddy. That is no longer your item. All right, and someday we'll be back for that item up there when we get strength. I like this battle. To this like trainer music. Look at these beautiful wings. <laughs> she has like a plate of chicken wings. Oh, it's Ama Knight. That is Ama awesome. <laughs> um, I need I need better writers to be honest. So if you're looking if you're a comedic writer, hit me up. I might hire you to write my jokes. This thing is hurting. There we go. Took care of it. Problem dealt with. Ah, oh, this game really hates me. This game really hates me. 
just throws Pokemon that have died. I mean, I didn't have a Sneasel, but I mean, it's, you know, I had a Weavile. Pretty much the same thing. This one has more feathers. Oh, you, I'm going to peck you for that. It's actually kind of funny that I mentioned Chicken Wings because she was a chef, apparently. So she could have had a plate of Chicken Wings she just made. Wake up, slap. That could probably be taught to Machoke, and if it's not, I'm going to be mad. If it can, if Machoke cannot learn this, I am gonna be very unhappy. And I bet Azumarill can learn this too. So would someone like to please explain to me why Ma also Octosep, also known as Machoke, a fighting type Pokemon with arms and hands, cannot learn a fighting type move called Wake Up Slap, but Ouija over here. Spiritomb, a little stone with all kinds of spirits living inside of it that come out and materialize into some sort of gas cloud can learn wake up slap. That. Why can't you learn wake up slap? That makes slick no sense at all. I don't even. I don't even know anymore. I don't even. Did I. Did I randomize something on accident? Like. So I just checked my randomized settings from the screenshots that I posted in episode 1 and my TM compatibility is unchanged. Move sets are unchanged. I have no idea why Matoke cannot learn Wake Up Slap and Spiritomb can. It just makes no sense to me to be honest. I don't even know. Oh that device you have, it is a Pokedex? Wow, bring back some memories. Pardon me, but what's your name? Okay, hello Colin. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name is Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you, but better. I'm... I mean, uh, I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately just out of curiosity, because I'm a fucking nerd. Here in Eternal City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. Have you seen it already? Yes, the Pokemon? Yeah. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Nah, it was like level 5 or something. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling- I already did! <laughs> also, you might want to know this, but Team Galactic has a mess spread already. And we got HM01 Cut. Remember the hidden move, Cut can be used in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling a Pokemon- not really. I could probably find every single Pokemon without Cut. Because of the randomizer. Alright, Eterna City Gym. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Actually, that's what I said to some boy who zipped in here earlier too. The gym leader, Gardenia, is a user of grass type Pokemon. I'm probably lying about that. It should be obvious, but grass type Pokemon really hate fire. That's probably gonna be irrelevant to you. They're also a huge disadvantage against the flying type as well. Oh wait, I'm full of so much information about a type that you don't need to worry about, because this is a randomizer and she probably has like Giratina or something. Haha. <laughs> huh. Alright, so in this gym we have to fight every trainer. Who are you? Oh, okay, we gotta actually talk to her. She's not She's not gonna go out of the way to challenge us. We have to go out of our way to challenge her. <clears throat> Ekans is actually kind of like... This could be like the garden gym. Like, it's not grass type, it's Pokemon that you'd find in a garden. Like Ekans, a garden snake. Is the uh, Psychic is super effective on poison, but I don't think Ghost or Dark are. You... Ho! You ho-ass garden snake! I'm gonna faint attack you. It's okay, we have an antidote and healing item, so I'm not too worried. Alright, we're gonna switch out against Granville. Go into our stupid-ass Octocept who can't learn fighting-type TMs, apparently. And we're gonna cry chop it. I actually want a Granville. I think Granville would be a cool Pokemon to have. I know my cousin Ryan. Uh, a few years ago, he was playing Heart Gold randomized along my Soul Silver one, and he only uploaded like three or four episodes because he's lazy as fuck. But he had a Grand Bull in his team. Uh, we gotta watch the time change every single time we defeat a trainer in this gym. I'm glad I'm speeding this up because that would take forever. I would not watch all that. Ah ah ah! <laughs> antidote! 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 My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special. Let's see if you really have grass type Pokemon. Clerk Malcolm, alright. Okay, she's not lying. 
She is not lying. She she has a grass type Pokemon. Oh, come on with the poison stuff. The poison stuff. Let's get we're gonna use the room meter. We should be good. So long as it's asleep. If it wakes up, I'm gonna be sad. Okay, stay asleep for one more turn. You asshole! Waking up. Um Do I wanna risk it? I mean, what kind of biscuit will I get if I risk it? Not a good biscuit. Not a good biscuit. Wait, maybe. Maybe a good biscuit. Okay, we got a, a, a small bit of biscuit. Um, um. Auto step, I guess. Alright, <laughs> remind I, I Hopefully, I don't forget to use an antidote and don't take like a step and he dies. Uh, cry chop. Not very effective, but it did like half health. And that was a crow gunk. And mystery. Come on. Um. You have a lick. Why not? Let's use Yuvala. Yuvala's first battle. Oh, you also have knockoff. There we go. Let's go for a lick. Just as. See, oh, that was way better. Although that was a critical hit, but still. At least we have a new Pokemon that's a normal type and has Lick. You lose level 17. On some sort of Wrap. It's not first gen, but we'll take it anyways. Wrap in first generation. If you got any of you watched my Pokemon Brown Nuzlocke, we found that that was overpowered. Antidote, 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 antidote. We gotta watch the clock turn. And let's go ahead and use this last super potion. I'll buy some more right before the gym. Alright, actually, what are our levels looking like? Alright, let's keep a Ouija. I want to get him to 21. So you could uh, legally drink. So, you can't win when you're distracted by the lovely aromas of Pokemon. I don't have a sense of smell, so I can. I'm going to beat you. I'm going to prove it. Tyrogue. Alright, well, let's go ahead and Hypnosis. Or not. Oh, that's not good. Now it can hit us with... That, this has never happened to me before. I never got, like, foresighted and then hit by, like, a move that can now hit me. I think that's the first time it's ever happened to me. Now I'm getting tackled. At least it's not using, like, a wake-up slap. If it could even learn it. I mean, it has arms and hands, so it probably can't learn wake-up slap. Alright, well, now we're done. I'll go heal my Pokemon and buy some healing items. Alright, so this is our second gym battle. She could have anything, and I think she has three Pokemon in this game. I think Diamond Pearl she has two, but in this game I believe she has three. I'm gonna continue- actually what I'm gonna do is give that Razor Fang, wherever it may be. I'm gonna go ahead and give that to Bowie. Alright, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with Ouija. I think Ouija will be okay. What item do you have? The Focus Sash. Alright, yeah, keep that. Alright, well, let's go for it. You kept me waiting. I'm Eternal G Gym Leader Gardenia, the Grass Type Illiterate Master, but I'm probably lying to you. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me, because you were at the front door already, so it just it made sense. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Versus Marilyn. That's actually a cool name for her. I approve. Marilyn. Monroe. Oh, she's an art. She's an artist. Art is who she is. And she's starting off with a hunt tail. Too bad our macho couldn't learn Thunder Punch. You know, you know that punching move that, what, that you use your arm and fist. The the stuff he had. Yeah. Let's go ahead and put you to sleep. Hopefully. How do you miss a screech? You just like screamed in the wrong direction or what? I don't, I don't get it. How do you miss a screech? <laughs> Alright, now let's go ahead and dream eater it. You eat its dream. What do you think a hunt tail dreams of? What, what what would a hunt tail dream of? Last night I had a weird dream. I'm not gonna talk about it, it's just weird. I, I usually save my, I usually save my dreams for Digimon series. So I always need something to talk about. But right here we could just talk about what this hunt tail is dreaming of. Just Swimming through the ocean, like yes, yes. I'm gonna eat me some. I'm gonna eat me some. What? What are those like thing? Kelp? Kelp? Is that? That's a plant, right? 
Is that is that what fish eat? What do fish eat? You fucker! Oh, he screams in the right direction this time. Now let's go for a shadow. I don't think we need to use dreams anymore. I think we're good. We should be good. There we go. Critical hit. Ouija. Nice job. All right. So hunt hail is out. So far, so good. I bet she's gonna have a legendary. I bet you though, knowing my luck. Phone! Why? Why? Okay. That <gasps> she has Queen B. She, she has Queen B. She has the Queen B. Uh, we have Lord in Pokemon Resolute as a B drill, but this is the true form of Queen B. This is like Lord's true form. All right, okay, we got this. We got this. Just set it on fire, just like Lord's albums. All right, all right. Krakatoa Ember, burn the bitch. Holy shit, that did like literally nothing. Okay, so her. Oh my god, this vest. Isn't there a gym leader in this? Is, was there a Vespa Queen user in this game? Is it an Elite Four? I think someone has a Vespa Queen. And they're annoying, I, or is it. There's. Gardenia doesn't usually have Vespa Queen, does he? No, she's usually Turtwig. And another grass type Pokemon I can't think of. Uh, I think it's like Burmy, maybe? No, it's, she did. I don't know. There's a leader with Vespa Queen. I think it's an Elite Four member in this game. But this, this Vesper Queen is being very annoying. We just gotta slowly burn it to death. Oh, and of course it would have a berry. Who knew Vesper Queen would be the problem? And she still has one more Pokemon. Oh my god, stop using the Fend Order. <laughs> All these bees. Oh no. It's okay. We, I think we got this. If we could get a burn, that would be great. We're barely doing anything anymore. The power drum hurts. Look how much that hurts. I think we could probably take one more power gem. Are you part flying? Yeah, you're part flying type. Um, we could probably take one more power gem, but it doesn't mean I want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Actually, you know what we should do? We should switch over to Octosep, because Buggy's weak to fighting, right? But thing is, she might have Gust. Oh my god, Power Gem hurts. Let's try another Ember, see if we can get that burn. We need that burn if we want to win. Well, we don't need it, but it would help a lot. Because she's still going to use a healing item. Oh, we're not getting burned. Alright, let's go ahead and switch over to Octocept. I think Octocept will be able to help a lot. And plus, if Karate Chop doesn't do a lot, we could use Seismic Toss and that does it. Guaranteed 20 every time, I believe. Or guaranteed 21 now. Oh, look at that. We resist it. Awesome. Go for the cry chop. Please do a lot. That did nothing. I thought Bug was weak to fighting. Or is it. Do you have flying type in it? Or is it. I don't know. I just thought it would hurt a lot more. Let's go ahead and try a seismic toss. Come on. Oh yeah, that was guaranteed 21. Ha! Fuck you! Lord, I'm sorry, Lord. It's a year of Lord, you know. And a Dusknoir, of course! Of course, you gotta make things difficult. I mean, if it's anything like the last Dusknoir we fought, maybe it won't do anything. Let's switch to Ouija. Alright, so it's a Ghost in Dark, so Dream Meter won't do anything. So there's no point in putting it to sleep. And they're ahead. <laughs> Two ghost sides, both ghost and dark, both level 20. Battle to the death. All right, Ouija, this is a battle to the death. I'm calling it right now. Battle to the death. It's either you or the death snorer. I'm not switching you out. This is like fate or something. So I'm going to be stupid and make you fight to the death. And it's using foresight for some reason, even though it probably doesn't know a fighting or normal type move. All right. Or I guess psychic. No, I think Psychic would, I don't know. Anyways, I think we're gonna win this fight to death. 
Are you saying something? You think you have me cornered? Kinda! Your Pokemon- Last Pokemon's at half health and I'm gonna hit it again and kill it. It's dead. I could already tell it's dead. Look at that. Marilyn. You lost. Alright. I was better. Your Vespa Queen put up a good fight though. I'll give it that. Your Vespa Queen? I, I give it respect. Amazing! You're very good, aren't you? Kinda. Ki I'm kinda good. I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I probably grant you this. And we get the Forest Badge. With the Forest Badge, your Pokemon can use Hidden Move Cut outside of battle. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon you see in trades will obey you up to level 30. I've also got something else as a gift for me, and it's TM86. Hopefully Matro can learn this one. Sludge Bomb. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh wait, is it actually Sludge Bomb? Is that what she... I thought she gives you... Um, the... Grass Knob, but I don't know if it changed the plan. I mean, it's actually Sludge Bomb, so 86. Is indeed Sludge Bomb, just want to make sure. Who could learn Sludge Bomb by... Bowie's like the master of all TMs, apparently. And I was going to be really pissed off if you could learn it. Alright, well, we defeated our second gym today. We also caught us a Licky Licky. Next up, I think uh, there might be a cutscene right here. Let me find out. No, I think we're good. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Next time, we're going to take on the Team Galactic Headquarter base type thing that's here in Eterna City. And after that, we'll probably make our way towards Veilstone. So, thank you guys for watching. We should actually, never mind, video not over. Um, this recording is at 20 minutes. I think the previous one was like at 6 before my audio cut out. So, I'm going to go ahead and say I probably have enough time to go to the old chateau. Oh, someone needs to learn cut. Cut's one of the few HMs I don't care teaching because it's decent. It's not as good as strength, but it'll work. Oh, hey, it's Gardenia. Hey. Hi, were you intrigued by the rumors going around too? You know, people have been talking about the ghost Pokemon in the old chateau. I've been hearing rumors about Sinister Shadows too. I should check it out myself, but going in there is, well, you know, being that I'm a gym leader, <laughs> I'm always busy, right? So I can't. I I'm not scared. Bye! Alright, we're breaking in. <laughs> oh my god, it's cries all. <laughs> um, oh, there's an item over there. I want it. I want it! I want it so bad! Hi, Staravia. Oh, my computer's dying. I should probably plug it in. Alright, I think we good. I would love to have a Staravia. Hopefully, we find a Staravia in here. Okay. Wise glasses. Alright, see if any of my Pokemon need some wise looking glasses. An item to be held by Pokemon is a thick pair of glasses that slightly boost the power of special moves. Alright, good to know. I might give that to somebody. Alright, I'll shut I, I don't remember if we can find wild Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, we can. Alright, see what our catch for the old chateau is. <gasps> Yeah, we have a fighting type already, but having a backup primeape, I am super glad about that. Let's go ahead and shadow sneak. Could probably have land one more. Quag! Why, Ouija? Why would you do? Why would you do a critical hit? I wanted it. I wanted it so bad. I wanted that. I wanted that primeape so bad. I wanted it so bad. Oh, whatever. Let's see if there's any items in here. There's one over there. Okay, you actually make sense on being here. Cool. That's that's what I really wanted to get out of this place. Not not a primate, but I wanted the ice heal. Oh, here we go. A mind plate. Good for if we get a psychic type. We're putting a lot of plates. Alright. Can we fight Rodham immediately? I forgot how you activate that. I think you have to come here at night. But I don't remember if that's true or not. No? Just 
two random beds and fucking wild Pokemon. Lapras! How did you get on the second floor of this place? I can't run away from you. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong key, that's why. Oh, my neighbor's dogs are being annoying. Oh, you should have been the first encounter instead of the primate that died, Ouija. Okay, there's, I think, this might be the last time. Oh, wait, no, we still have other rooms to go through, like one more. I bet you no one can learn this. Actually, Licky Licky should be able to learn Charge Beam, I think. Yeah, haha. <laughs> I'm not gonna teach it though. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, Licky Licky is only meant, or sorry. <clears throat> Uvula has only been in one battle, so we don't know how permanent Uvula is. And oh my gosh, I mentioned at the very beginning of this video that I needed to poop. Oh, it just hit me. I really, really need the poop. But I want to get this last item. Oh, cool. All right, well, I'm going to save that. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go poop. Think of me. Bye.